Good evening, I'm dancing. What's going on in the world? The situation right now is just on another level. Yesterday was lingerie day, or lingeri, as some of us like to say it. Sisters, I hope you went all out for your lovers, ne? Because if you didn't, you know your lover got his dose from his side chick, right? It's okay, they can have uh, lingerie day, lingeri day. I need to know you have the remaining 364 days of the year. <laughs> so use them wisely. Start by burning those bloomers. Or take him to Coachella next year to see Beyonce. Keep that side chick in her place, man. Speaking of Coachella, while all of South Africa's influencers were at Coachella, Kaiser Chiefs lost more than a coach fella, okay? They lost another game. They lost respect and money, lots of it. And simply because of some hooligans who decided to storm the pitch and assault security guards and wreck property. Oh, Mzanzi. Well, thanks to the Twitter police, one of the perpetrators who kicked a security guard in the head has already been identified. I'm not going to name him, but here he is, dressed up like Papa G. Dude. You can run, but you can't hide in the Isidingo wardrobe department forever. We will find you. Trust me, Mama will give us a signal. Speaking of signal, Mama. Mama, there are actors here in our industry with social media accounts, Mama, that in their rage post racist rants and then they try to cover them up, Mama. Give us a signal to deal with Rajesh Gopi. On the evening of the Netbank Cup semi-final fiasco, he tweeted this. Yeah, the baboons like soccer too much, so they want to play with human heads. Huh. <laughs> ah, we'll be watching the Human Rights Commission with great interest. Maybe he'll plead innocent and say he was smoking Durban poison that night. Who knows? Speaking of drugs, how was Brian Habana's Insta post? Yesterday, he announced his retirement from the game with a heartfelt message. Here's an excerpt, eh? It's uh, been more than a year of uh, hoping and uh, trying, you know, pushing and willing to get back on the field for one last time and to taste a sweet victory or encounter that gut-wrenching despair to hear the roar of the crowd, you know, grab a pill out of the air. Whoa, ho, ho, Brian, grab what out of the air? Did you just expose yourself as a pill popper on Insta? I really hope that was a typo because if it wasn't, it would explain a lot. For instance, your superhuman speed. You didn't hear it from me, but hashtag doping. <laughs> and more on dope, last week, a popular Cape Town radio club uh, DJ, Dino Michael, known to some as the godfather of house, was released on bail with his wife after a drug bust estimated at 2.6 million rand. Oh, well done, cops. But why did it take you so long? Surely you should have suspected something when people started calling him godfather. Duh. You're listening to the godfather show. My name is Dino Michael. Caller, you're on the line. Ay, 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 caller. Not that line, the phone line. Oh, I thought you meant the... <laughs> Hi. Dino, they're warming up your cell in jail, Baba Askis. Our show is oozing with soul tonight. We have two authorities of R&B soul, the internationally renowned Kenny Lattimore and local sensation Donald. Then we close the show with an awesome performance from Beyond Vocal. But first, Glenny Stowe, what's the WTF of the day? Thank you, Tumi. Hello, South Africa, and happy hump day. The WTF of the day is what the felony. Yesterday, American rapper Meek Mill was released from jail after spending nearly five months incarcerated for a pretty controversial sentence. In an interview uh, after he had been released, he said now he wants to be an advocate for the criminal justice system. Whoa, 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 hang on. How, hold the damn phone, Meek. You're a rapper, but now you want to be an advocate. Can you imagine the bars coming from Advocate Mrepa? Ah, <laughs> yo, 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 your honor, I must object. You're making me feel like I'm just a suspect. Yo. All I want to do is judge is grab my crotch again. Yeah, well, grab some expletives and wear my damn chain. No, man, to me. <laughs> Come on, man. Can't you rap and be a lawyer at the same time. You know what, Rana Glenn? I honestly feel like you're wasting your time as a bad barman. There's a whole career as a bad MC just waiting for you out there. Seriously. Our first guest for today is a man known for his cool and soothing voice. He is the king of soul and R&B, the legendary Mr. Kenny Lattimore. You Let me grab you for a second. Please sit down. Please spin my wheel. 
So, uh, because Kenny uh, has got a lot of singing to do in South Africa, he's got a lot of warming up to do. Yes, I thought yes, I'd give yes. him a, mm -hmm. a traditional South African warm up drink. This is called Echemer. Um, it's very strong and very, uh, it warms you up. But please don't blame us if you start uh, <laughs> sounding like Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it. So, you wouldn't mind. Oh, where has it stopped? Somewhere between. Stripping down and dipping it. I think it. you decide to. I'm going to go with strip down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So um, you're going to have to pick something to take off, but I don't want to mess with my sound, guys. Okay, okay. So the safest thing to take off would probably be your pants. <laughs> That's <laughs> the <me>. safest? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you just have to remove a clothing item. Uh, do you want to think about it? And we just start with the interview? Uh, sure. Let me, let me think about it. You've uh, got a mic on your jacket and you look so suave. I think shoe. Yeah, I think shoes, a, sh a shoe. So. I think you can take off your shoes. Oh, I can take off my shoes. A shoe or two. Oh, and, and ladies, they are big feet. <laughs> <laughs> <So, laughs> Mr. Kenny Lattimore, tell me, uh, what is it? Do you and Pharrell have a secret that we don't know to you? Because you look. Yeah, it's this right here. Yeah? It's oh, the so drink. is that the secret? This is the secret right here. It's and uh, so we, you, you sip a little of this each day. Yeah. And, and Something happens. I don't know. We st time stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, uh, we all know for you, the Hugh Hefner, it was all those girls in the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> yeah. So I was Definitely hoping you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. So South Africans seem to love you a whole lot more than Americans. So have you considered <laughs> staying here longer? Yes. <laughs> I was just looking at property today. Yeah. And uh, I hope that I, I hope that I can for real. Though. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. I hope that I can for real. And uh, no, Americans are, have been wonderful to me, no, but South Africans you. are really. No, we, yeah. I think South Africans are more thoughtful. Yeah. And uh, and more in tune. I think a lot of American radio and all of that has become so commercialized, yeah. you know. But uh, but here the passion is still in it. We I love commit, that. hey. We commit yeah, you to you. Commit We're to like, me. yes, give me your hours. <laughs> uh, guy, guy to guy, Kenny, I want to ask you just just uh, a quick one in terms of South African talent, in terms of women. What's what's your general uh, your general feedback on that? The so talent of, of South African women. Mm -hmm. Oh, top notch. Top notch. <laughs> Absolutely top notch, man. Top notch. Yeah. Good, good answer. Good answer. Got are we talking brains? Are we talking body? Uh, what are we talking about? All of it. South African women are perfection. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. So, so, so you got the, So you got the, yeah, all, all of that. The brains, the, the body, hey. the looks, uh, the talent, uh, everything. So, yeah. Now, just back to the South African issue. I mean, Naomi Campbell comes here quite often. Oh, great. And yeah. she's been given a South African name. So we're just wondering, do you have a South African name? Um, I, I, I used to be able to pronounce my, it, it's, it's, it's sincere. Okay. And I tried to do it in Kosa. Uh-huh. And it is, I cannot pronounce it anymore. I'm, is it? So do you know how, what does how do it we mean? say it? What does it mean? Sincere? Sincere. What does sincere mean? See, to, to me is not Kosa, and, and my, my Kosa is still coming, so we'll have to consult. <laughs> even, the, even the Kosas who work here can't figure it out. Well, <laughs> listen, we're going to give you an easier one, actually. We've been working really hard trying to figure out a name for you. Okay. So we've got two suggestions for you. Okay. Uh, the first one, we even arranged with Home Affairs to just get a little documentation ready for you. Mm. And the first one is Lindalani Latimore. It just Lindalani. rolls off the tongue. Oh, Lindalani. Okay, I like that. Uh, Lindalani, because we've really had to wait for you for quite a while for you. <laughs> to come and bless us with some beef. True, true. <laughs> That's very true. So the second option is Skamuhelo. Skamuhelo. Uh, yeah. Okay. Skamuhelo Latimore, which is welcome. Oh, yeah. So okay. which one do you feel, Lindelani, Lindelani or Skamuhelo? Skamuhelo. Skamuhelo. Okay. Kamahelo. I like Lindelani Latimore. It's just a little Yeah, that, that, that sounds like a stage name. Just yeah, yeah. We, we, we're getting real here. We're getting real. He's already got a stage name. We, you right. Know, we, 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 don't, we don't want to compete with myself. Right. So I guess we'll be conducting the rest of the interview with Kamahelo Latimore. Kamahelo. This is wonderful. Now, I know you're here to sing. I am. So there is no way I'm going to make you sing on my show. If people want to hear Kenny sing, you need to buy your tickets. You need to pay to hear him sing. So he'll only be singing for me during the <laughs> ad break. <laughs> so are you officially single? Are you looking? I'm officially single and I'm looking. Yeah? Yeah, both. So. Yeah. Yeah, so you What's your type? What's your type? Because you already talked, you like brains. I don't have a body. type you don't have necessarily. A type? No, because when type, usually we think of uh, what, just a look or something personality personality 
has to be um, honest, fun, which you, you're fun, <laughs> and um, that, I mean, really, I'm looking for whole. 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 I, I wanna, I no wanna, psychos, no more psychos. Whole. I, I want to <laughs> ask a question, uh, you know, uh, so, so you know, because we, we're sort of in the same industry, we both got massive, huge amounts of girl fans, um, and I want to ask, what, how, does, how do you differentiate between the, a fan and, a, and, a, and a someone who is actually interested? Mm. Like, like, what is your trust like? Because it must you be know, pretty shot. That's a good question, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, that's a, it takes time. Yeah? It takes, a, it takes quite a bit of time to figure it out. Is, is that why you're like, no more psycho? Have you no, jumped in space it's, and it's, gone? No, it's been like, yeah, kind of crazy because, and I'm in Hollywood, I live in Hollywood with a lot of actors. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what's the most psychotic thing that's been done to you? Um, I've had a fan who's gotten on an airplane and flown across the country to follow me and pretend that she doesn't know who I am. Oh. And then pop up at my house. I don't know how she got all my information. So stalker, that, that kind of thing. Oh, so, wow. All mean. right, we're going to take an ad break. <laughs> I need to call my travel agent and tell them to cancel that trip. We'll be back after the ad break. <laughs> Okay. No, no, you cool. Do you have your phone on you? Uh, Please get your phone. Touch. Touch. I'm good. I got him. But can you just? Uh, is this stuck down? Um. Glenn, yes. are you going to ask the yes. love question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, eh? It's on speaker. Yes. You're very loud in my ear. Oh, wow. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. How far are we from coming back? How far are we from coming back? Hello, hello. I'm Taco here. TK, TK. TK, TK, TK. Right, man. TK. TK in the business. TK, TK, TK. Yeah, I thought, nah, let's not do that, Ian. I'm going to pretend you just sang to me. So I'm just going to be... I should never let him sing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Glenn, Hello. are you also going to be burning from his vocals? Burning from? Are you going to be cooling yourself off after Kenny's vocals? Yes. <laughs> Welcome 
welcome back. It was a very bad idea to let him sing for me during the ad break. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness, even me, I'm, 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 I'm strict and I'm just, <laughs> oh, you guys missed okay. out on some serious, <laughs> it's hot in here, it's hot hey. in the studio. I'm not okay, I'm not okay. Okay, so uh, Kenny, no, come <laughs> here. So Kamu, tell me, um, your new, your new release, your latest release is called Vulnerable, right? right. Are you feeling vulnerable? I'm feeling vulnerable. Yeah. I'm feeling vulnerable. Yeah. Where, where do we want to take this? <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my gosh. Where? I have no follow through. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as I can go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, you better put that wedding ring back on to yes, me. Yes, I better. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, See, you were still oh. thinking about it. You was like, oh. I know, I, I know. Was, I'm watching. <laughs> We're I'm about watching. to like you end this thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> International relations. Um, speaking of relations, <laughs> so your show on Freedom Day that's coming up, 27th yes. of April. Yeah. Yes. What can your your fans ex ex expect? Oh gosh, I'm like falling apart. Here. <laughs> uh, what can they expect from you? I mean, besides the babies that are going to be popping <laughs> nine months after your show. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be intimate. It's going to be romantic. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to try to cover all the new the new songs as well as the old uh, yeah. material because yeah. I've had so many people with me the last twenty some twenty two years. Yeah. So I want to make sure that I, I I cover all of those songs, but I'll be introducing a lot of the material from my new CD, Vulnerable. And uh, there's another one from my last CD. I do a little segment of Anatomy of a Love Song. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's kind of talk song. about me coming back into the music scene. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, has anybody ever come to you and gone, dude, you're responsible for my firstborn? Or, <laughs> hey? Actually, I, I have had that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Like, thank you, dog. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It's so funny because I think about all of the women that love the music and everything, yeah. but it is especially great when the brothers come, yeah. when the guys come and they're just like, thank you for that, like you said, you, oh, <laughs> it happens all the time. Have so you have you ever, we call it in this country, pump, we pump, uh, <laughs> <it's> like, uh, <laughs> have you ever made love to while your music is playing in the background? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh, yeah, oh goodness yeah. gracious. And you have a son. Not as, not as much though, I, I, yeah. you know, because sometimes I get distracted. Okay, I don't know if you're ever which, distracted. which of your songs is this song? <laughs> which one do you go, if a guy's watching right now, he wants a panty dropper, which of your tracks would you go with a guaranteed panty dropper? Actually, for whatever reason, I think For You does it, where I think about um, it being such, it's like a wedding song yeah. in a way, but For You does that at the same time. Mm. I, don't, I don't know why, but it does. Mm. So. so you would give a lifetime of... Stability, oh. right? So something Zazzy. about that, something something about that word, so the words yeah. do it. So. And Jared Zadzi, hey, your yeah. son's in his teens now? 15. 15, 15 years old. Wow. Can you believe it? Their time has flown. You yeah. know, he's and great. He wants to do music. Yeah, he's a good looking young man, eh? Well, thank you. Has he got the you. vocals for it or is he more? You know, he really does. He, he has a, his own kind of style and, and everything. Yeah. The, the, a new generation singer. Nice. But he's also heavy into sports. So he plays basketball and football and runs track and all that. So um, I don't know when he practices or what have you, but he really uh, is that good. That sounds like a very popular kid. Have you given him the birds yeah. and the beast talk? Who did it between you and Shante? <laughs> who did the birds and the beast talk? Well, I know I have. He <laughs> but he doesn't want it. He's just, kid, I don't know, at 15, he's, tr he's trying to prove that he knows everything. Yeah, you know? yeah. And Dad, no, I've got, I know already, I know. <laughs> and I, Because he knows, I, I come at him straight. Yeah. And, and he's like, Dad, I've listened to your songs. They've worked for me. Thank you. I don't need your help. I don't need your help. Oh, no. I'm like, oh, boy, let me call home now. Oh, no, please. That's right. <laughs> that family therapy session. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's play a game with Kenny. We're getting a little too deep in here. Time for us to play hashtag top three. Oh, boy. Right, so the way hashtag top three works okay. is we're going to spin a wheel, mm -hmm. which you'll see on the screen. Okay. It'll either land on your bag, if you have a man bag, Instagram or Twitter. Okay. So if it lands on Instagram or Twitter, I'm going okay. into your DMs for three explanations. Okay. Okay. If it lands on the bag, I'm going to dig for three things. Let's spin the wheel. Ooh, Insta, Insta DM. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kenny uh, he looks nervous. DMs. I did not think the day was going to happen. <laughs> Hand it over, sir. 
hand it over. I have to hand it over to you. I it? need your phone. I need oh, to go through boy. your DMs. I'm love. watching oh. you closely there. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Oh, I like where it's open now. That's really cute, but I'm going to go straight to the DM. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's nothing on my DMs. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, hold on. Uh -huh. Let me think. What's on my... Oh, that's so sweet. Praying for safe traveling. I know you will give them a wonderful show. Much Aww. love and blessings to you. Aww. Oh, thank you. you didn't even respond. Oh, Where's the I love, didn't. Kenny? <laughs> Usually I'll call back. I'll see a DM and I'll call back. I, oh, I see verified people DMing you too. <laughs> Aww. You told him you love him and is he home? Who's that? Who's he? Who's Jean? Jean Mary. Oh, Jean Murray's my brother in DC. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet, man. You're such a softie. You tell <laughs> your friends that you love I each other. I tell them I love them. Aww. Yeah. You're right. Actually, you're so. I do. It's a lot of love all through. All you through are there. such a good guy. <laughs> like, there's a hot chick. So I clicked on the hot chick. What do I get? A smiley face and a thumbs up. Like, <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Which is the most famous number you have here? Like, do you have Beyonce's number? No, no. Uh, have you got Kanye's number? <laughs> no, I don't have Kanye's number. I'm trying to figure out who's the most famous. Who's the most famous person in your phone? Um, maybe Stevie Wonder. <gasps> old, old school, maybe old school. Stevie or Wonder I on your phone, like, like you could WhatsApp. And it's like so casual about it. It's like mm, Stevie Wonder. Mm. So you could WhatsApp him maybe, right uh, now. Who's I mean, popular not here is uh, Carrie Car Car Hilson. Wow. Carrie Hilson. You've really got everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I mean, not everybody, because I didn't have Beyonce, and I didn't have Kanye. Yeah, well, you but. know. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> I need to ask you this, because I tried to tag you on Twitter to tell people oh, you're coming. Okay. And it says you cannot tag Kenny Lattimore in your pictures. How do you do that, and why? That's a good question. I don't know. I have a social media manager that helps oh. me. Oh. Because uh, the timing and every, everything. So she helps me to post. Okay. She helps me to manage everything. Because, yeah. because remember those fans we were talking about a yeah, little earlier? Yeah, yeah. I get a lot of those. Oh, so she could tag herself, like having drugged you and put you then put next to you and be like, me and Kenny, we're getting married. Right. And next thing you're like, what happened? Oh, my gosh. It happens. Do, it how, happens. Do you, how, do you have the numbers of those fans? Because I need some fans. <laughs> you need some of those? I don't know if you could. You don't want those fans. Those. <laughs> Not the, okay, now I'll make sure. <laughs> okay. So, Glenn, what's your hashtag WCW? <laughs> Um, other than those fans, my woman crush Wednesday this week is the forthcoming seventh wife of uh, ex-president Jacob Zuma, 24-year-old Nokanyisong Koko. This chick is 52 years younger than Sholozi. What amazes me is young 20-somethings like myself struggle to settle down, yet Jay-Z's game is on lock, guys. I don't understand. Not, not only does he currently have many wives, but it's a known fact that he also has a history of side chicks. All I'm asking, Butternut Corp, just one last positive nation-building act for South Africa before he up and leaves to Dubai with our millions. I wanted to ask directly, President Jacob, please, ex-president, please open the Jacob Zuma School of Game, or at least write a book or a vlog or something. Please, I can't believe I'm saying this, but South Africa needs you. <laughs> Yeah, that's <laughs> one man who redefines tonight is the night of the butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, back to brothers with game. <laughs> See, I need, I need that game. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because you know he already has like a lot of wives. Would you, would you roll like that? Would you, would you no, no, go into I'm, a polygamous I'm a, relationship? I'm a little different. I'm, I'm a monogamous kind of guy, one-on-one yeah. -on -one kind of yeah. guy. So. Yeah, do you get jealous or do you think you just wouldn't want anyone to have to share you? No, I mean, um, I think I'd be, I'd be jealous too. I, I, it, it's a lot of things that will go through my head. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, when I think about it, it's yeah. just, it's out of my scope. Yeah. Out of my scope. So. <laughs> how, did you, how did you get your groove back after your divorce? Because, I mean, you've been divorced for oh, like nine years now? Uh, almost like maybe seven. You know, it, I think it was just dating again in general. Yeah. Because I went through so much during that time period, and it was pretty bizarre. So the first woman that came to me and said, you know what? You're a great guy. <laughs> Like, I was like, oh, oh, oh thank you so much. So, <laughs> but I, I did. I had I, I ran across a, a couple of really nice women that yeah. I just went out with, and and it was it was validating just just to um, to have a good conversation and 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 feel that they were sincere in what they were saying and they were uh, affirming, definitely affirming. Yeah, and you took off seven years as well to take care of your son. I didn't take off the complete seven years, but during that seven year period, 
he went through the transition uh, of it, uh, it was, which was very emotional. Yeah. So what I did was I took maybe three or four of those years and I just worked sparingly, you know, here and there <laughs> so that I could, and I, but I, I got a chance to go to his school and oh. uh, grade papers and go on field trips and things yeah. like that. I, I wasn't smart enough to know how significant that was really gonna be. Yeah. But when I look back on it, I'm so glad. I'm yeah. so glad I did that. So. Sure, but he's, he's in his teens now. You've got a bit more space. Are you on Tinder? Yeah, and he's like, Dad, go to work. But see, now you make me think about those parties at the house. <laughs> <laughs> but but he, he's good with me being at work now. Yeah, so. yeah. Are you on Tinder? No. So you're not putting yourself out there, out there? You no, kind of... no. I, I, I thought about it, and I was like, how could I? I don't, I don't know if I could do it. And I yeah. know some other friends that have, but I haven't. Yeah. I'm not sure that I could do it. Okay. I, I'm, I'm kind of like the recommendation guy. Like, if you have a recommendation for me. Oh, I like Because it. Then I can hold you accountable <laughs> to, to your word. You said that she would. No, but, but it, it feels a little more organic yeah. uh, when somebody in, makes an introduction or says, okay, well, we're just going to have a little soiree. Yes. And we're going to get some drinks and Meet some food. And we're going to get together yeah. and just see what happens. Okay. Okay. And then you can, then I'm still in control of the moment too, because I, I like to be in control of my. Speaking my of control, in that seven year break, how were you making your money? Were royalties that good? I mean, were you killing it like no, that? No, royalties big? were good, but no, I did work. I just didn't work as often. Oh. I didn't do any touring where okay. I was uh, away from home for more than two weeks. Yeah, okay. So you're just making music. You just went. Making music and going away on the weekends. Yeah. And just working here and there. Mm. Uh, I didn't do as much international travel because you would have seen me here. <laughs> and uh, I think I came here maybe once, but. Um, during that time period, it was, it was tough because of balancing it, because I love what I do, mm. but I love my son even more. So. Oh, yeah. Ladies, please stop throwing your underwear at the TV screens. <laughs> it's not getting here, okay? <laughs> time for another break. Ice yourselves down. I promise we won't be gone for seven years. We'll be right back, <laughs> and we'll be joined by Mr. Romantic. <laughs> Okay, cool. And then, is Donald going on the other side of Kenny, or is Kenny moving over for Donald? Uh, do you want to move over for him? Okay, uh, Kenny's offering to move over. Because he can, and I'll just watch him shuffle. <laughs> so I don't know what love we're getting. Does anybody have a cell phone?
Welcome back to hashtag WTF to me. Our fans, as usual, are as naughty as ever. Mahal Machaba <laughs> says, I think the rules should change. When taking off one item of clothing, shoes, socks, and jewelry don't count. <laughs> 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 you guys just want Kennedy get naked. Come on now. Next time. Ooh. <laughs> Um, and they're saying, who, who's Zadzi is he? Hey, <laughs> hey, he's on the market. You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> so I'm going to bring on our next guest. He knows the love he deserves, but it remains to be seen whether he will admit to getting love or will he be in denial about uh. it. Give it up for Donald. <laughs> 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 Listen, spin the wheel before you grab a seat, please. Okay. Whoa, down it. Oh. <laughs> grab a seat, honey bun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but that's not <laughs> Denisa, what's he drinking? Well, he's first drinking this concoction. He's the first ever down it of the of the series, so he can just pass in that uh, in the meantime. That's number one. Do I really have to drink? Um, it? It's, yeah. it's uh, just a little bit of Tabasco and lemon juice. That's say no. Uh, can I just say it's no? basically it heartburn the in a shot. <laughs> a heartburn uh, Well, cheers to that. Tell me, tell me when. Uh, and go and for action. <laughs> cheers, bro. There we go. There you go. Oh, that is not lacquer. <laughs> Can you please give him his actual drink? Okay, his what did he ask for? It's a bit of lemonade because oh he's channeling God. his Beyonce. Uh, he asked for. <laughs> <laughs> you drink your lemonade you to channel your inner Beyonce. That's deep. That's deep. How was suck that? Suck it, baby. Suck that it hard. Was, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that came out wrong. Um, <laughs> did you so, say I'm a suck it? The straw, the oh, pink okay. straw, because it's pink. Wow, wow. No, no, me and Kenny have a thing going. You cannot break this. Don't confuse <laughs> thought, this. I Do thought, not confuse this. I thought I saw your husband somewhere. Did you not see me just put the ring to the side? Oh, okay. <laughs> and this is South Africa. I can actually have a second husband. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I'm sure I could can handle a little bit of key. Wow, wow. But listen, it's about you, not me right now. Yes, I think. You two mm -hmm. have a little bit of a history, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. Tell us about it, because... You know how broken telephone works, right? Somebody tells you a story, somebody else tells it. By the time you get it, it sounds like something else. Totally yeah. So my last reception of it yeah. is that Kenny picked you up at a hotel and took you to his place. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, hello. That's pretty well, bad. Well, that, well, you know, that was just one, one of the incidents. Uh, oh, so it did happen. <laughs> yeah, that actually happened. Because I was, I, was, I was very sick. Oh. Yeah, I was I was in Los Angeles on, all on my own. By the way, um, I was there for a little holiday and unexpectedly got really really Just, sick. I need a moment. He was in LA in the USA yeah. on a little holiday yeah. by himself. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually. And uh, yeah, so I got a little sick and I just really couldn't be alone. So he came through. Me and took Hold me to on again. Sorry, sorry. I have my hand up again. Yeah. So you were sick. You're alone in America, yeah. and you couldn't cope with this by yourself. So, Kenny. Kenny. Can I tell you? <laughs> if, if only you knew that actually at some point, like I, you know, I wanted to cry because it was really that painful. What was wrong? It Did was my reasoning? first time actually experiencing a little bit of um, what we call. Um, anxiety. Oh. I had no yeah. idea what that meant yeah. uh, like before then. You had an anxiety yeah, attack? Yeah, I had an anxiety attack in Los Angeles. Oh. All on my so I didn't quite pick him up and take him to my house. <laughs> I picked him up and yeah. I took him to, to the, the hospital. hospital. <laughs> yeah, actually a couple Eventually, of Eventually, yeah. yeah. He a couple, couple of couple. Yeah. Yeah. Like three, yeah. couple. Yeah. Why three? They didn't know. It was a, it was a Sunday in the U.S. Oh. Yeah. And a lot of things were kind of piled up with people yeah so we went to an urgent care first okay and because i said i can get you into some because we thought oh this is simple something's yeah. going on we're going to figure out what it is simple yeah. and then he was still not feeling well so now i took him to a more um established hospital yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to check him out so. so this was really bad is this at the moment that you guys went before you go let's record spirit, so the <laughs> spirit i think we had already <laughs> we had already recorded spirit by then yep, i think, I think oh, we we're did. just about to do oh, it. well we were talking about doing it and you came back yeah. again yeah 
And uh, oh no, we had we had just finished yeah. Spirit. Yeah. Like so he was there couple. to do that. And then you no, don't <laughs> do that. And then you just, <laughs> and then you just <laughs> and then you he's, he's he's like my older brother. Yeah. Like on the real, real. If if there are things that are bothering me and I really need to speak to someone who's got a bit a bit more yeah. experience, mm. um, he's the one that I will call. He makes an international call. Hi, hey, ladies. Me. Don't be sleeping on all of this. <laughs> <laughs> there are visas for days. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm single, so. And he's single. Yeah. Well, let's get into a game then. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, what are we playing, Clay? Right, guys. So this game is called Pictionary. For those of you at home, it works like charades, okay? But instead of acting it out, you draw it on that, th that there board, okay? Oh, yeah. You're going to get a phrase, a movie, a song, anything. You're not allowed talking. You've got 60 seconds to mm. draw the picture. I'm going to be with Kenny, Donald, and Toomey. Tombs, would you like to take it away? Oh, Donald, is, you're going to be with Kenny, Donald, and it's yeah, so confusing. I'm yeah. hinting to I'm Donald. Yes. Yeah. Do you yes, want so me to draw or do you want to draw? I think I'll hint. You draw. Okay. I'm no, I, no, I have to draw. The draw That's is the, the hint. hinting. The oh, draw okay. is the hint. So oh, okay. should I draw? Right. So I need to say what it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay it's the so do you want to go guess? If you're guessing, stand over there. Okay. Or do you want to draw? Are you good at drawing? Ish. I think I'll just guess. Okay, okay here cool. you go. You just stand right over here. Okay. This is easy. There you okay. go. Okay. Okay. Your 30, it's 30 seconds, not 60. Okay. So 30 seconds starts now. Okay. The clock is rolling. That's sexual. <laughs> that looks like a dress. <laughs> she is very good at drawing. Oh, goodness. It looks like an egg. <laughs> oh, goodness. Is that a tree? Okay. 10 to go. 10 seconds to go. Okay, and five, four, three, two, one. I don't know what I'm trying to do. One, and ah. <laughs> what is it? What was it? Eiffel Tower. Oh. oh. Okay. I was actually. That's one of what people down there. Yeah. Okay. I, but I, I was, you want to draw? Okay, okay again, draw. it's your turn. Okay. I'll draw. Jeez. That was okay. good. Okay. okay. Pick a card to, from the top and draw. Okay, I back you. I've got so much, so but much. I can faith draw in you. a, uh, a what? <laughs> I, whatever the a hint. What, what, yeah, so, but no, okay. so pick a card there, and then draw what's on there. The one, oh, on, okay, yeah, and you draw here. what's on it. Okay, okay, ready? Okay, and go for it. Okay. <sighs> okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Um, a pocket. Oh. Wow. A pocket. Oh, wow. Is it not? That's not finished, hey? Pocket dial. Oh, oh my oh. goodness, yes! Can go for another one, go for another one. <laughs> go for another oh, one, go for another one. Oh. Okay. 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 Cloud, uh, rain, um, ah, uh, oh my, okay, no, that's a, a, a spaceship. Oh, time's up. What is that? Okay. Time's up. Don't, don't, don't say it. Tumi can you can hand it over to Tumi and she can. And, oh no, it's you, it's you to draw. You get to oh, finish it. Yeah. Okay. Right. You can finish it. He must okay. finish it. Oh well, I don't know. I mean, uh, uh, I no, do, do a new one. Okay, let's do a new one. Let's do a new one. Do a new one. Do a new one. Nice. Can Kenny? we tell you what that was? That was yeah, great. What was yeah. That? What was it? It was going to be scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Okay, That's you're 30 experiment. seconds, Donald. Nice one. I like the pocket dial. Are you being serious? Pocket dial is brilliant. I'm so impressed. Action. Can I, can I, sorry, oh, can oh, I oh. clean for it? Oh, no, wait. Sorry. To hold the clock. Hold the clock. And three, two, one. Action. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay. So this is a... Can I speak? Uh, not really. That's a girl? No, it can't be a girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a dude. Yeah, it's a dude, and <laughs> with I, a beard. I, I really don't know. <laughs> a smoking dude. A high. Nah, he's dude. not a nice dude. <laughs> a smoking hot dude. I, I don't. I really. Look, this is the worst. <laughs> a thing. guy. I can't believe you guys made me do this. Okay? <laughs> smoke up somebody's ass. Time. What is it? <laughs> fire. Breathing fire. <laughs> it's a tokolosh. Oh <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Okay. You should have drawn bricks. How do I draw a tokolosh? You guys, are you serious? Oh, okay, one wow. more round. One more round to seal the deal. Let's do this. Wow. All right. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Wow. Okay, I mean, this is really just for fun because we've actually won already. Oh, and it's the up. first time I've ever won Pictionary. So, oh no, that's tokolosh. Okay, ready? Three. Okay, two. One. Ah. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, uh, this is not very difficult. Okay. So, it's... Okay. 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 Okay, now what you do is <laughs> Okay, rather this. Okay. 
I thought she said no talking. No, okay, so what I'm saying, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it oh. going? Okay. No, 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 no. This, I'm gonna, no, no, no. This is not, no. Okay, okay, okay. I've got it. Wait, oh, Lucy. No. You're getting there. What did you say? Oh, time's up. Strong. It's a dumbbell. Oh. So, is that is that like a oh. bicep? Is that a bicep? Yeah, that's, okay. a, that's a bicep. That's all right. That was good. I have to take a shot because we lost. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, get you a shot in the what? ad break. Okay, you wanna get in the ad break? Okay, <laughs> well, we're gonna take you. a short ad break. More from Kenny and Donald when we return. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I Okay, so can I read a couple of live tweets and then send to him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chance, how's it? 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 Who? I'm gonna. There's gonna be one one guy who I'm gonna be speaking to mostly. Who? Who's? Who's the the spokesperson most? It's you. Huh? I've seen you speaking before. You're okay. Very, you're very speaking. No, there's yeah, nothing the other, really. That other interview. I'm sitting. Okay, cool. Everyone's sitting. Like sitting is quite odd. It's strange. It's a lot of you. Welcome back to hashtag WTF to me. I am pulling self towards self, <laughs> enjoying a little Kenny, a little Donnie. <laughs> but uh, it looks like Glenn has found himself, himself some frames. Glenn, what's happening that side, love? Well, to me, I've got a lot of testosterone uh, on this side. I'm hanging out with Beyond Vocal, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yeah, yeah man. Well, there's a lot of you guys. There's a lot of you guys. <laughs> Almost too many. I don't know. <laughs> Just the five. I suppose it's like any normal band. How you guys went from the church and now you're in the club. How do how do the <laughs> how do the deacons feel about that? How do the how are the pastors checking you now, rock and roll? Look, we are pastors' kids, and uh, uh, our, our daddies are very very supportive, so it's all good. Okay, <laughs> just you wait until mm, things start happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna play a quick game with you guys. All right, it's, it's actually na the game is named after your. Your, your, your group, it's called One Beyond ten. Vocal, exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. Okay. you've got All your right. own. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw a track at you, and you guys are going to have to simulate it, but without any backing track. Or, so um, it's impromptu. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's, it's, uh, it's hip-hop slash gone, the first one. Can you hear it? Let's roll the track. <laughs> Yeah. And action. 
shit. Get me dancing here. Okay, one more, guys. Can we do one more? Can we do one more? Let's play the track. Let's do the thing. You ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Guys. Okay, I, I can't, I, can I please, can we do one more? Please, can we do one more? We got one more. I'm sorry, I can't, I love it. I'm sorry, it's so good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. She love my ghetto, 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 ghetto. She wanna be ghetto, ghetto, ha, ghetto. That's why I like her. And over to you. Ghetto, ghetto. There are panties <laughs> in this audience that are starting to get out of control. To me, please, over to you. <laughs> All I'm saying is that every woman in South Africa owes me one. Girls, I am serving. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, we're going to continue with a little game ourselves. I think we've done enough talking. Okay. Oh, okay. we've done out. Tell <laughs> we were hanging out at uh, Married But Not To Each Other. <laughs> you <laughs> broke my audience. They were like, yeah. they were loving each other before we even got on stage. You're anyway, an awesome let's play hashtag <laughs> Never That. Right. Gentlemen, uh, in Never That, uh, I'm going to hand you over a, a bat. A bat. Uh, on each side, it has a different answer. If you, uh, Tumi's going to ask you questions. Yes. If you have done the thing before, you say yes. If you've never done it before, you say never that. We have asked your entourages separately uh, the mm -hmm. questions, and they have given us the right answer. So we will expose <laughs> you if you, you are lying. <laughs> All right. Who did you speak Okay. To? <laughs> <laughs> Ever butchered someone's lyrics to a song? Ever butchered someone's <laughs> lyrics to a oh. song? <laughs> Uh, most of the time, <laughs> most of the time. Terrible. We heard you on that Nafiki Zolo track. Yeah. Kenny, your own song or somebody else's song? Some, both. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've actually butchered for you at times. Oh. Sometimes we just have a little brain fart. It happens to the best of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I've never taken advantage, oh, have you ever taken advantage of your celebrity status? <laughs> never have I ever mm -hmm. taken advantage of my celebrity status. Really? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, come nah. on. Nah. No, Donald, I saw them letting <laughs> you in through the wrong door. You weren't supposed to come in through that door, <laughs> and you were like, <laughs> uh, like, hey, come on. You, you know were what? like, the empress I know I deserve. Nah. When, uh? Uh, well, when I become a celebrity, I will, Are you? Get, <laughs> yes, I will definitely you take, take advantage, advantage of it. Um, <laughs> never have I ever cried after a bad show or a bad day at the office. Ever cried? After a bad show? After Donald a bad show, after a bad day at the office? Donald, think carefully because... Think carefully. Nah. Um, Guys, come on. Yeah. Uh, okay, Donald. have you ever tried at an event, been that emotional that you had to cry? Nah. At the metros, I've, for instance? I've, I've, I've cried at the metros once. Now everyone thinks <laughs> I'm always crying. Wow. There's only one time. Because you had that Brooke Logan tear, man. Yeah. You know that one tear? Yeah. So you don't, you're I've not cried. a cry. I've yeah? definitely, in the middle of my show, Yeah. I've had moments where 
Oh, um, definitely. I, definitely. I broke the show down, and I'll say, what do you want to hear? And somebody will but not, yell out something. Get this. Not, not after like, a bad show. No. Okay. You, you know, okay. maybe overwhelming love from the fans. Yeah. Cried in bed because it was that good. Quick one. Cried in bed because it was that good. Yo, my God, this is so funny. <laughs> no. Ladies, they it's have okay. not been served the good stuff yet. Glenn? Oh! <laughs> no, 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 I'll explain okay, it to you idea. off air. It's not actually <laughs> important yeah. now. We'll explain it off air. It's okay, not a, <laughs> that's another right. ad break. We'll be right back. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> that's not a, that's not a, <laughs> Guys, do you have a new album out? No? Is this the last performance? Or will check later? That's like... I must ask you about it. Live show, Nyana. Yeah. Hmm? Live show. Yes. Yes. I stand hard for Adidas. I stand hard. Hard. Oh. Wait, I'm 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 coveting the Adidas. Hmm. Where am I standing? Welcome back for the last time tonight on hashtag WTF to me. Before we roll the bumper, we're chatting to Beyond Vocal. Yeah. New album coming out next month. Tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> Very End exciting. Of yeah. End of May. End of May. Yes. yes. Okay. The album is called Supernatural. Alze. We can't wait. No. It is beyond yeah. our vocals. Oh, we can't <laughs> wait God. either. We cannot. You guys also just signed a huge deal with Universal, right? Yeah. And it's a lucrative deal, but after you split it five ways, is it still lucrative? <laughs> <laughs> they still make it work for us. Uh, so yeah, we, we're yeah. really not complaining, we're really excited. But uh, uh, more than anything, for the opportunity to really showcase our talent and the music yeah. to the world, really. So That's awesome. Yeah, man. We're pretty so excited. So when do people get to see you live? Uh, people can follow us on Instagram, Beyond Vocal, Twitter, Beyond Vocal SA. Yeah. We always post where we perform. Guys, these guys are going to bless us with a song called Pila. Tomorrow night, we have Tibo Touch and Fix. It's going to be the, the, the sound. You don't want to miss it. Be on vocal. Take it away. Smile. 
Yeah. 